Okay, guys, we have another unboxing. Now this, I don't even know exactly how to best open this box, but we're going to just give it a shot. So down this last weekend, I was at the California Custom Knife Show, and I met up with a friend of mine, Chris. And Chris and I have been friends online for a while, talking knives for quite some time now. And so I knew he was coming to the show, and that was part of the reason why I went. Well, we got to spend some time together, went to dinner, hung out some at the show, kind of, uh, you know, after the show, down at the hotel lobby, kind of just talking knives. And after I did my video of the South African knife that Alex lent me. When Chris got home, he's got a bunch of South African knives. I'm trying to be a little careful here because I don't want to cut any of the boxes that are inside, right? Because Chris included a lot of the original boxes and things like that. So um, after I did the South African maker knives that, that Alex had sent me, Chris reached out and said, hey, would you like to borrow some of these? And he sent me a, um, a picture of some knives. Now, that's a crazy box. But let me just kind of get all of these out first because there's a few in here. And I want to just get this big FedEx box out the way. So, um, so Chris sent me a, a picture of some knives and said, would you like to check these out? I said, absolutely, thank you very much. And he sent them all over. So I'm gonna go through these probably fairly quick because I don't have all the information for them because uh, Chris also sent me a, an Excel spreadsheet with information on all of these. And we're gonna go right to this very unique box first that slide to open like uh, yeah it's pretty look at the box guys i mean it's already slid open so let's just let's just pop this guy out really quick and take a look at the box i i'm just like i'm just kind of speechless here on the box by itself so let's see if we can get this to close up it got jostled in shipping a little bit but uh, yeah, so I may have to play with that a little bit because it doesn't quite line up and I don't want to break it. But, dude, I mean, this is just craziness. Like, this is absolute crazy craziness. The box that's starting to fall apart here because, you know, that's what happens. So, but, wow, just, I don't even know. It's all kind of curve cut here, and this is all wood. All right, enough about the box. As I've always said, packaging is important. So these are all South African makers, okay? And this one is uh, George, George Muller. I don't know much about these guys, about any of these South African knives, but holy Jesus, look at that. Dude, Chris, you've got some amazing stuff here. And I'm not, I've been impressed with all the ones I've gotten from Alex, and I'm not disappointed. Damascus Backspace, look at that. Guys, I'm telling you, all of the stuff I've seen and handled from South Africa is absolutely next level. Okay? So let's just kind of put that off to the side. Let's uh, grab this one. This was one I was very interested in from the pictures, just because it looked so cool. Uh, on bearings, this one doesn't have the box, but we'll have all that information when I do the full videos, guys. I, I am not that familiar with all the South African makers, so forgive me, but very cool stuff. I mean, just the quality we get. So this is Jocko de Kock. I think is how you pronounce that. Oh boy. 
I mean, this is some crazy stuff. You cannot feel the seam. Look at that. Just crazy. It's got some fingerprints on it. Don't worry. When I do the regular videos, you'll see all of it in its glory. We'll get them all cleaned up. Nice and purdy. Oh my God. That detent was just something else. Like light, but oh God. Okay, so far, I, I just, wow. Yeah, so far I think this one's my favorite. The first one from George was also my favorite, but I think that one might have trumped it. Not sure. No, no political pun intended there, guys. Um, this is from Kennison Knives. Just outstanding. The fit and finish on these is crazy. Oh, man. Now, that's a little more my style. I love it. It's got a, you know, just a really heavy stonewash blade, but a beautiful patterned scale. Like, wow. And just so smooth, so crisp. This is beauty. Wow. I'm, I'm not even sure what I'm going to be able to film first. I'm just so... Normally, I try to kind of pick the cool one or, you know... Man, oh, geez, I think there's extra in this one. Two for the price of one. Andre Van Heerden. Wow. Is that kind of a wood with a carbon fiber frame, it looks like, with steel liners? That's just gorgeous. And all of these are super smooth, guys. Feels great in the hand. Man, I'm, I'm just blown away. And I have been blown away by the South African makers. I know we're going long, guys. I know we're going long on this one for sure. So this is a Brista Twin, I don't know. You'll get all the details when I do the full video, okay? Just enjoy the, uh, the knife porn here. A Tamascus backspacer, Tamascus inlay, Tamascus clip that's bent, kind of shaped kind of the opposite way I would think it would be, but that's cool. Tamascus pivot collar. And Damascus, jeez. This is some crazy stuff, Chris. I knew you were into knives, but damn. Yeah, I can't compete with you guys anymore. Although, I did just get my Todd Fisher Archangel. So, that, that's kind of cool. But, yeah. All right, guys. Um, I don't have a favorite. Anybody have a favorite? Let me know what your favorite is. And maybe we'll... Maybe that... Oh, jeez. The detent on that one is insane. Like, I can't even describe the detent on this one. This one will probably get the most finger time out of all of them just because it's so insane. So let me know what your guys' favorite is. And we'll do that one as the first video here in a week or so as I get through. Because I'm about a week ahead on videos, right? Um, for once, I'm actually, a, yeah, I think I'm actually a week ahead right now. So these will be coming mixed in with the other stuff that I still had to video. Uh, but Chris, thank you so much, man. I greatly appreciate it. This is some amazing stuff. And thank you so much for, for trusting me and lending them in. I so appreciate it. Let me know what you think, guys. I'm going to say it again. South African makers, top-notch, second-level, like blows everything away that I've ever handled almost at this particular moment. So thanks, guys. I will see you on the next video.